Today, <laughs> today is a celebration of all things Goose, and Aww. we are going to have some fun tonight by playing Your Goose is Cooked by Malishan, a script specifically written for our favorite waterfowl. Um, how are you feeling, Navian? Uh, a little better than I have been. Um, as some of you know, I have been having some issues with my hip, which comes from an old injury, which is why occasionally at the end of the stream, you hear me talk about the need to watch for motorcyclists on the road. Uh, but it is doing a little better than it has been. Um, and so hopefully that will continue and I can get back to my hip feeling all right. Uh, your, your sentiment was fantastic, Navian. It did get slightly interrupted by Sean Burby's eight months in the bells, the subsequent bells, but that's okay, because everyone is fantastic. Uh, yes, obviously, um, please be be aware drivers. I feel like that's a fair way to say it, right? Just be aware as a driver. Don't be a shitty driver. Yeah, but being aware as a driver means also watching out for people who are in smaller vehicles than yours, like, you know, small cars or motorcycles, but also uh, bicyclists and runners and that kind of thing. Uh, bicyclists are in tiny vehicles. Runners, I guess, are their running shoes tiny vehicles? Sure, we can we can interpret it that way. Uh, Lynn, I appreciate the thought. Unfortunately, I don't think my hip issue will go away. I think it is something I'm stuck with and I'm just going to have to... You know, do what I can to mitigate it. Um, yep. So, I will tell you, the, um, the fun thing about the game tonight, besides the fact that it's featuring Navian, uh, is that we get to actually watch it, uh, from my perspective, which means we're doing yet another installation of, uh, Patrick over at Patters TTV, go check him out over at twitch.tv slash Patters TTV. Uh, someone who is known for all the up-to-date, the, the latest and greatest tech when it comes to uh, Blood on the Clock Tower. And one of the things they developed was this thing called the Grimminion Tool. And the Grimminion Tool allows me to see live updates of Navian's Grim as Navian is playing, which permits me to stream this to you into this fantastic quality that we have. Uh, yes, Chicken Nugs, it is indeed the Patters of Patters TTV. Um, and while Patters is not here, uh, we are going to be using their bot so that I don't have to do anything. I am not we'll playing. We'll be using multiple Patters bots tonight. Oh yeah, so actually, yeah, it's a good point. A lot of a lot of Patters tech is going into going into our, our, our games, so... Uh, give a shout, do everything that you can to uh, go out and give some love over to Patters at Patters TTV. Other than that, though, um, what do you think of this? Uh, what do you think of this script? I think that this is a, uh, well, first of all, the thought behind it, which is that Palashan wrote this script for me um, because I had a string of games where it was like, I kept pulling new roles that I'd never gotten to play before, and then somehow something would go all sideways for me, um, and I was pretty sad about it. <laughs> so uh, the thought behind it is very, very sweet, and I'm very touched. Uh, Malishan is a wonderful member of our community, and I'm very glad that uh, they have found a home here in Connecticut. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good-looking script, and um, I hope that we can have a lot of fun with it. I hope so, too. I also like the fact that I basically get to let you just kind of run the game and then, uh, you know, I just get to sit back and interact with chat and talk some bullshit and that's really all I got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's head back up and see how everything's going and we can, uh, we can get started. All right. Let's go. Engineer. <laughs> we have returned. Welcome back. Hey. Hi. Thank you for handling the Grim. Thank you again to Malishan for helping with this. Uh, we really appreciate it. It was kind of short notice. We had a we had a little bit of a uh, unexpected gap to fill, but uh, appreciate Malishan stepping up and all the work that they do for helping us out here in the community. Very generous of them. Yeah, cool. But Looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. All right, oh, I'm, got... I'm good to go. <laughs> I don't know, Navy, you're good to go. I'm ready, let's go. 
Okay, sounds good. So we are playing a script I made called Your Goose is Cooked, which was inspired by a very young Navian who's playing. Uh, I gave town the backstory a little bit, which I'm going to say is that uh, a few weeks ago, Navian had some bad games and I was feeling like I wanted to make a script for them uh, that had like a lot of their favorite characters on. And it took me a while to get my act together, but I finally did it. So here we are. Um, with that, I'm going to send you all to cottages and start the game. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Hey, look, it's Melodron. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do this. Goodbye. Woo, let's go. I don't know what the fuck that is. Cottage now. Uh, oh, it's not working. I believe we need the current game roll still. Uh, that would be why it's not that, working. That would be a great idea. Uh, whoopsie daisy. Look at this. Whoa, <clears throat> this is a new bot. Hold on, I haven't seen the buttons before. Yeah, actually, Ooh. I thought the buttons would do it. Uh, the buttons are... Hello, I'm in Mark Twain's crib. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be in Mark Twain's crib. I'm supposed to be in Navian's crib. Haha, -ha, we did Hello. it. Hello, having a hard time. Navian's so far down alphabetically, it's hard to drag you all the way down. <laughs> uh, I, okay. There you are. There I am. We did it. Yep, it took a couple of trips to get you down here, but you're here. Good luck. Thank you. All right, so, uh, first off, um, yes, we are following, um, we are following Navian today, and we're going to see everything that Navian adds to their Grim, and we are going to be doing, I, I, someone mentioned, uh, World Cup. Oh, Mario's not in their seat. Cup um, one. I'm looking at my Grim, and they're in their seat currently. Ooh, do I have to refresh this? Is that a thing? Can I refresh? Uh, I think you can, and then I can just give you the code again. Oh, wait, no, it's... Nope, the seat is entered. Weird. It looks like it just took a while to update. Yeah, it's probably just the delay on the stream. Yeah. Hey, look! It's you! It me! I thought you were more of a vampire than a werewolf. You know, as long as it's not human, I'll take it. Yeah. That is a double entendre. Mm-hmm. I, I, sh <laughs> listen, I, I just had to sit there and just kind of like let it wash over and you just had to point mm -hmm. it out. Um, so the nice thing about this script is there's not a leech here to leech host me and then double claim me. It's true. Which is what happened the very first and so far until this game only time that I, uh, pulled <laughs> like and throw. Uh, we should, uh, yep. Team hashtag Team Monster Fire. There you go. Um, yeah, there could be a Puzzle Master. That's true. Could just be poison. You know, and all, all kinds of things can happen. You could be Pukkad. Wouldn't that be rude if you were Pukkad? That would be rude. So Bruce and Madeline in game chat are saying, "Oh shit, I got one of Nadian's favorite roles." Um, so I'm going to ask them are, if they're the Poisoner and the Goblin. <laughs> and their answer is going to be yes. <laughs> um. All right, so what is your general... First off, well, before we get to general game strategy, let's talk about let's talk about this icon because I feel like this is important yeah. that we, we share this with the world. Yeah, you mean you mean the script icon in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Malishan and Rosnora gifted me a goose with a knife plushie, and it's amazing and fantastic, and I took a picture of it, so that is the goose plushie on my bed. Uh, my my comforter is uh, space. So it's a goose with a knife floating in space, and then Malshan edited in uh, his very own, I believe that should be Snuffles, the uh, badger that uh, is like a little plushie of Malishan, because this was a collaborative you know, effort of, of Malishan and myself. You actually missed, uh, so that is a stock photo of Snuffles' kindred. Hmm, I see. So it's not actually Snuffles. Um, yeah, Goose with a Knife plushie is a thing. I did not know until, uh, until Resnora let me know. And I loved it. And I was like, that's amazing. So, yeah. Um, it, it's basically the most Navian thing probably I could imagine. Hello. Nice. Domeda, can I run something by you in private? Uh, drag me down. Hello. Hello. 
I'm just doubting myself on a rolling, and I want to get sure. a second opinion. Sure, absolutely. Uh, if there is a poisoned outsider, uh -huh. does the Godfather see that outsider? Yes, they are still that role, they just have no ability. Yeah, that was my thought, but I just... I wanted to double check. I didn't. I didn't want to do something that would confuse everybody. Oh, that was. Oh. I, I know nothing about anything that you were just talking about, as far as Navian's concerned, though. And neither do you, chat. Yep. Thank you. I'm gonna drag you back. Thank you. I trust you to not say much. I will not. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's the strangest thing. The rules question was about how long it would take to ship a second plushie with a knife. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Um, but to that end, uh, <laughs> when you said that your comforter was space, I, I had to laugh a little bit because I was like, you know, it's cool that it's space and everything, but like, it also just happens to mostly be black. Uh, yeah, especially on, on your screen. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I'm just saying, I would imagine most of your decor is just straight up black. Um, certainly all of my wardrobe is uh, quite a bit of my decor as well. Uh, I remember <laughs> uh, around Halloween time, I was in a store, and Navian already knows this story, but I'll just share it with chat. Um... I went to a store and they were doing closeouts on Halloween decorations and stuff like that. And I obviously Halloween basically is Navian. So like, this is the kind of stuff yeah. that like, if I see Halloween stuff, I'm just like, I'm going to get this for Navian because this is the kind of stuff that Navian would just enjoy year round. Um, but it turns it's out, true. but it turns out what I found was a plushy candy corn. And I was like, oh, this is going to be perfect because it's cute and it has a little face and it's plushy and it's going to be great. And I didn't realize until I literally brought it to Navian that it actually had a squeaker inside of it and it was a dog toy. And I was like, that's probably <laughs> why this is so inexpensive. I thought it was a plushie. Yeah, it's still cute. Uh, a um, a I am one of those heathen he who really enjoys candy corn, by the way. So like if you hate candy corn, just ship it to me. It's fine. I'll eat it. And anything that's not left, then anything that they don't have, I will eat as well. I like candy corn. Hell yeah, splitting the candy corn. Nice. Um, I think that it is an underrated Halloween candy. I think that it's one of those things like, you know, you can just have, you can just enjoy it. You know, you can just have it and uh, as you go. And um, I, I feel like it's a year-round thing. I don't feel like it needs to be like a wintry or a, 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 an autumnal thing. Alejo, just so you know, I was looking for the mint candy corn. I was. I searched long and hard. No pun intended. I searched long and hard to be able to try to find the minty candy corn so that I could give that to Navian in like the exact opposite of something that would be very nice. But it turns out I couldn't find it. <laughs> All I could find was entries that it existed. And also, I was finding information about the Thanksgiving dinner ones. Did you hear about these? Uh, the thanks Are the Thanksgiving mm, Day candy corns? I think you showed a picture and I... Am I back? Okay. Uh, Demeda has the current game role, so I'm not sure why he's not getting moved. Because I have an exclamation I think point. Might, it's the exclamation point, I think. I think the, the bot is smart enough to see how oh, that person doesn't move. It's okay, I'll just take the exclamation point out, and you guys are just going to know that I'm not. I'm, a, I'm an NPC of this game. Um, you could just put put them in parentheses. Yeah, if you go ahead. Yeah. I got this. Yeah. Like, All right, I got you this. Just write NPC. I just put spectator. Fair enough, that works. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to town, everyone. I've been murdered once again as your visiting storyteller. Every time a storyteller visits this town, they don't seem to come back. So uh, you've got a bit of a demon problem. Um, please, please stop it so that storytellers will come again. Uh, you've got nine minutes to discuss today. Good luck. Bruce. 
cellar. You want Resnora. Let's go. Sure, let's, let's, let's go. In the pub. Wait, Res doesn't talk to Malishad first on day one. What? What is this? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, never mind. Navy, enjoy a talk. Sure, Aiden, let's go. I was going to say it's very awkward, but... Uh, hello, hello. How's it going? Going pretty good. You know what's not on this script? A boom dandy. Oh, shucks. <laughs> hey, you know what's not also on this script? What? Uh, an you know what isn't on this script. Ha! A, a drunk. Oh my god! That is, is I, I drunk cannot be script? the drunk alchemist. Yay! <laughs> oh jeez, that was that was that was something. Just don't. It sure just, was. Just, just, just double claim empath. Is that how? That's how you do it. <laughs> just, just claim empath, look at us, and let everyone just eat you. It's all good. It's all good. Claim empath, have your Thank other you, minion Ed. claim bounty hunter. By the way, Ed, why are you awake? You have a drunk no, alchemist right. with the Great. boom dandy not <laughs> ability in play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. There was a bit more to it. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> fine. 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 Uh, I'm the minstrel. Minstrel. Okay. Um, I will tell you the truth, and I will be lying to everybody else right now. I'm the lycanthrope. Groovy. So you basically decide who dies and the demon doesn't. That is correct. Um, I Are you okay if I claim minstrel to some other people? Sure, not a problem. Do you want me to okay. claim lycanthrope? Yeah, you can go for it. There's and, a reason uh, it's a way. Cheeky rolls somebody off. who would be happy to uh, get killed in the night, obviously. Some outsiders would be a decent choice. Um, top will, so the the uh, washroom and our librarian yeah. would be a fine choice as well. Once, once I have some more of my eyes, I'll come and give you a good old natter. Yes, if we hear of a, a, a farmer claim, we are absolutely fucking killing that. So let me know if you get a credible Hell farmer yeah. claim. I, I will let you know. And I'm hoping you're not evil because I'm just... Patters and Ed both sensed bot troubles. Okay, I goes. will not kill you for now. Uh, if I get suspicious of you later, I might check you, but I'm leaving you alive, Aiden. Let's oh, do this. Uh, to be fair... If uh, my my minstrel ability still works when dead, doesn't it? Uh, no. Nope. Once oh. you're dead, it's not gonna work. I I absolutely understand if you want to hit me. <laughs> the Ed symbol, the fine. Gabriel Jack. Jack, put up the Gabriel sign. Um, no, I I'll save you for now. Uh, your ability would be quite useful for us. Beautiful. All right. Thanks, Aiden. I got left town. Okay, lead the way. No, I tell you, that's two seconds, but okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the goose. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, sure. Big goose. There, there we go. Hello. Hello there. Um, what do you want to do? Malshan um, did I have a I will give you whatever you give agree. me in return. That is correct. Mm. You know what? Yeah, why not? I'm the bounty hunter. That is incorrect, yeah, Ed. I go to you for Ooh, rules spicy. questions all Who's the time. Dylan. Dylan. Okay. Uh, I'm not marking I'm anything. Uh, That's always fun. Yeah, so um, I'm not we marking will anything. know if... Uh, uh, ooh, ooh you rainy. know what? I just realized Minstrel Bounty Hunter is kind of rough. Uh, if we execute the minion that oh, you have wait. seen, then no. you get drunk immediately and <laughs> we'll get ah! drunk now, Sean, what have you done? Well, that's interesting. Okay. This will be rough. That was um, rough. it's so it's fine because uh, at the very least we will know that you have been drunk if there's no deaths in the night, right? Like if a minstrel can can sort of proc and prove themselves a little um, bit, then we can at least know that your information Patters is going to, to be a bit untrustworthy. Rishi, of course, then I learned nothing until they die. That's yeah. the problem. I learned yeah, nothing. it's rough. I, I, One thing we can hope for is maybe the demon acts like not not in realizing that they have a um, an evil townsfolk. Ed's been resting all evil day. Townsfolk and dies in the night. That's a possibility. That that could work. Yeah. So um, we can keep an eye out for that. But yeah, minstrel minstrel bounty hunter is a slightly rough co a combo. Right. We need to get. Oh, why, Malachan, We need to get this? Stefan. Why? <laughs> we need to get Stefan and Jack I and Patterson. I didn't realize that and until just you let said them it. Just yeah. it out. It's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, be we'll figure out we how to work too, it out. We love you too. You're yeah. fantastic. Right. Take care All of right. yourself. Well, thanks, DJ. Yep. We, we, will, talk. we will throw your tea back in that harbor. <laughs> 
fuck in the history lessons? What the fuck talk. did I walk into? Uh, DJ, <laughs> I forgot to ask you one thing. Could you follow me real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Uh, Dylan, do you want to go have a chat? Sure. That's some sus shit. Uh, I'll follow That's you. That's some ill sus shit. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Doing pretty good. Beautiful. What would you like to do this game? Ah. Um... I completely forgot. I don't know. I've already given out at least one hard claim. Uh, okay. One... I mean, we can do twos or threes if you're more comfortable. Uh, well, here's the Hell thing. Sus. I, before we get into like twos and threes and all of that, I just want to ask you, are you evil this game? I am not evil this game. You're not evil this game? Nope. Okay. So, I forgot to get water. I'll go ahead and let you know that I am one of this game's outsiders. Outsider. Ooh, okay. It's a Long Island white power. So, of... in this sense, the if you do happen to be on a team with a Fangu and you do happen to jump to me, I'll try and keep it more quiet in that case. Uh, okay. But if you're not then you know that I'm taking up one of the two main potential slots for outsiders. I understand that there's like yeah. bonus and whatnot. So, um, I would say that there is one outsider on this script that really does not particularly want to die, that being the sweetheart. Um, the puzzle master I could see also maybe wanting to stay alive until they get to use a oh, guess, but uh, I just want to I ask understand. you one thing, which is, are you the sweetheart? I'm not the sweetheart. I am one of the other okay. four. One of the other ones. Got it. Okay. Uh, I will tell you then that I am either the minstrel or the farmer. Minstrel or the farmer. Gotcha. And if you hear of a lycanthrope, uh, I might be interested in talking to them. Okay. I have not. Okay. All right. Uh, well, thank you, Dylan. All right. Thank you. We even have Could i mean better, there's though, like probably. one minute left i mean it's not as bad as patters okay, you want to go exchange patters is a drink claims real quick disgusting um dj do you want to talk res where that was that me you're asking for yes oh yeah, yeah sure. let's go toads please toads please hello hello how are you good how are you it sounds disgusting okay? patrick what you got all right uh, I will tell you, I am either the farmer, the empath with a zero, or the minstrel. Okay. And I will tell you that I am either the librarian, and I have spoken with my ping and confirmed with them, the minstrel, or the seamstress. If you were the seamstress, have you used your ability yet? Uh, nope, I'm going to use it's it It's Cherry night. Fanta. It has to be Cherry Fanta, right? Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Actually, uh, can you just repeat what your claims were? I'm sorry. Farmer, empath with a zero, or minstrel. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you. Ah! It's about to get dragged! The dragon. Yo, shouts to Double Dragon. That was a great Streets game. Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage? Yo, the best game soundtrack of the entire era. Then there was the one where it was like a fighting kangaroo. Okay, fair enough. A fighting Come kangaroo. Down, everyone. You know the deal at this point. You got a couple of minutes to oh, talk about your Oh, it's orange Fanta. Uh, hmm. And then I'll be taking nominations hmm. for who's going to get murderized by town today. Good luck. <laughs> I've heard about the other day. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Ed. Um, I have as well. Before we get into that, I would just like to ask because there is a um, there is a Fangu on this script. Um, how many outsiders have people heard of? I have. Uh, I've, I've heard, heard two. No, I've heard of one. Amaretto. One and a half. It's very sweet. I've heard of a puzzle master. Okay, that's useful. Well, I've heard in a puzzle. Is there a way for there to be zero outsiders in this game? No. Wait, seriously? Well, no, uh, I'm sorry, I meant uh, two for two. The plonk. 
Not a double claim. That's uh, Brits, what's a plonker? Help me out. I don't know. I don't yeah, remember I've exactly heard of, I heard what of one specific derivative that is. A3, and only one of the three was an outsider. The other two were town folks. So that person probably isn't, but might be. I've heard of two hard claims. Is it specifically I'm not supposed sure who to the be, demon is um, here, but I believe this is all naming. Uh, phallic. I mean, oh, that's on. that's a fair assessment. I've heard of one hard claim and one in the super two. Uh, apparently, we've got nothing further to add. Nominations are open. Uh, Madeline <laughs> nominates Dylan. Madeline nominates Dylan. Uh, why should Dylan die? I've heard of a bounty hunter ping on Dylan, so I'd like to get on top of that, you see? Dylan, what do you think about that? Uh, I have not heard of the bounty hunter ping. Uh, one thing that I will note is that I have Thank heard you, of potentially up to three outsiders <laughs> this game, so there is a chance that it is a Fangu game. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to add to my defense. Uh, I am a townsfolk, so if you want to kill me for bounty hunter purposes, that's fine, but that means that I won't be able to gather information this game. I noticed that too. Okay, it will take six. We put Dylan on the block. Um, I will say Dylan is claiming outsider, and we do have a potential godfather on script. We also have a potential fangu. Yes, that's what? it. So we can't. We have to kind of deal both. I, I mean, here's the thing: if we have an extra death and then I oh predictions, executed, good call outsider, then we learn that we have a godfather. So that's <laughs> useful information. Six is enough. Uh, Dylan is on the block. Has anyone else got a nomination uh, today? I have Not heard of a lycanthrope, so would that affect the Godfather kill, potentially, if yes. they actually yes. exist? Okay, cool, yeah. perfect. I'm gonna give you guys. Well, in that case, I don't see a problem with killing an outsider here. That's then. gamble. If that lycanthrope is real, of course you are. Really, huh? Proven tonight, I would imagine. Or the Godfather would be disproven. One of the two. Townhouse, no further nominations. I'll close the day in about 20 seconds. You know, except for the fact that they're I mean, killed. I guess the caveat to that is if the lycanthrope accidentally, like... They're not really accidentally, but happens to pick an evil person in the night, and then in which case, they won't be proven, but... They will no, get I... really good information. Closing with A and 5. Don't Four, think that should happen. Three, two, one. You use blocking uh, Dylan, how would you like to be executed? I oh, would oh. like to get the Gabba Goose, please. <laughs> <laughs> the Gabba Goose is got and gets you in return. You die. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Night. Hey, the Gabba Goose. All right, thanks, Patters, for applying our fix so that uh, Dimmated just gets yeeted into the same cottage. It is really nice of you to do, Patters. I have no idea how you're doing it, but I'm not gonna touch anything. Um. All right, so we have some valuable information here. Yep. Um, if we hadn't executed Dylan, then I would, of course, have hit Dylan in the night to see if we could substantiate the bounty hunter claim. Um, so that leaves the question of, do I try to kill DJ right now? Uh, because we do have a hard claim of a minstrel. Um, or do I hit randomly? Um... I was actually thinking... I mean, I, I was actually thinking of hitting specifically uh, Resnora, and I genuinely don't remember why. So Resnora's uh, claims were Farmer, Empath with a Zero, oh, or Oh, the Minstrel. Farmer thing, that's why. Yeah, so um, we have a hard claim of Minstrel, which means that Resnora is more likely to be either Farmer, Empath, or lying entirely. Um, if she is the Empath, then that would suck, but it would also substantiate Zero. Which means that we could trust DJ's ping on Dylan. Uh, so the question as to whether Dylan is dead, yes. Um, the way that the tool works, I'm discovering, is that I kind of need to have the window open. Um, if I have it just sitting in the back behind other windows, it doesn't update. So I need to like kind of have the window open so periodically... I'm sorry, guys, I'm only on two screens. I can only do so much here, you know? Um, pick the minstrel. That's an interesting thought. Um... 
That is fair, uh, because as we were talking about when we got the hard claim of uh, Bounty Hunter from DJ, um, the Minstrel and the Bounty Hunter don't exactly work great together. Hello, hello. Hello. So it's decision time on whether we want to hit Aiden or Resnora. Um, I think I would prefer Resnora tonight because if we can substantiate that, well, first of all, if if Resnora is the farmer, then we get a farmer jump. Um, if Resnora is the empath with a zero, I think we get a decent amount of information off of that, and we can kill Aiden tomorrow. Um, so let's let's hit Resnora tonight. Okay, thank you very much. I missed the chicken nugs pun. Ah, uh, the mint stroll. Ah, <laughs> good. OBS needs the window live for what? Uh, the window needs to be live in order for it to update. So I need the clock tower to online window f on the forefront uh, in order for OB for, in order for the changes that Navian is making to actually manifest. So, or at least it seems that way, or at least it's, or maybe it's for, just for OBS to pick it up. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. Do you remember Streets of Rage? I mean, I know you're we're rough, roughly the same age. I don't know if you were a big gamer as a kid. Um, I was, but Streets of Rage is not one that I ever played. What, but I I am well aware of it. Okay. What do you got for um Plonker does mean penis. How about that? Um <laughs> What do you I mean, what what games do you remember as a kid? Um, so I had an N64, uh, so I played quite a lot of N64 games. Um, but I, I also, my grandparents had a, an original Nintendo. Um, so I played several original Nintendo games and quite a lot of N64. And I just completely skipped over the Super Nintendo, which is really unfortunate yeah. because that was an excellent system. Super Nintendo was a was a absolute game changer of a system. Some of the best games. It really was, yeah. Of... But you know what? So was the N64. The N64 had a lot of really good games. I do remember that. Um, I'm trying to think of like, so I mean, obviously there were your there were your winners and losers. Um, you know, like for example, I wasn't a super big fan. This is gonna apparently this is a hot take now because anything that came out on the N64 apparently is considered like it's canonized as being fantastic. But like, eh, Pilot Wings wasn't all that good. I'm sorry, you know, like. I mean, N64 definitely had some some bad games. Link to the Past is the second best Zelda game. I'm actually gonna straight up disagree on that. I will say actually, I think Link to the Past was the best Zelda game. But Navian is going to say. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, uh, okay. I, I know you have been enjoying Breath of the Wild. I thought maybe that was reason to be biased, but, you know. It is a very large open world game that uh, encourages exploration. It is right in my fucking jam. Yeah. Uh, I can confirm that you played the shit out of it. Uh, so Nintendo didn't have a truly bad system until Wii U. Uh, the Wii U actually wasn't that bad of a system. It was a flop for other reasons, but the system itself wasn't, it wasn't actually that bad. Uh, I'm not actually as much of a gamer these days just because I don't have the time because, you know, working 45 to 50 hour work weeks, um, and then doing all of this and all the stuff that I gotta do. Uh, but I will say, uh, Alejo, my wife bought Elden Ring uh, because it came out on uh, her birthday and she was playing it and I'm like, huh, this is fun. I should do it too. And I have been. Good morning, everyone. Um, you come into Town Square and you find uh, the body of Vesnora oh. right in the middle of Town Square. Fuck. Okay. And that's it. Interesting. Nadine? Nadine. 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 Madeline. Could we please is very good. Yeah, I'm having a Aiden, lot of fun we talk with again? it. Who's I'm probably about 25 hours in or so. Time, but then I realized today's probably follow us. Yeah, uh, he, he'll be able to follow us. I so, haven't played any of the Dark Souls too, games. Still yeah. Evil Towns for a question mark? Uh, yep, if I your know, information is correct, then Dylan would have been the Evil Towns folk there. Um, yeah, I learned Aiden. Uh, sorry, who did you learn? Aiden. Aiden, interesting. Aiden. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, we'll say this because I did ask my question on this. Um... If it, if, if a minstrel's poisoned, yeah, they don't proc. 
Uh, and I will say this. Yep. Uh, if I were a poisoner, I would think, ah, oh, this is script about Navian. I would poison Navian. I would say that. Um, yeah, that makes so, sense. So, like, it is the script based around you, I would poison you. But, you know. Fair. But I think it is more likely that if your ping is correct, wow. then Dylan would have just been the evil townsfolk. Kev, yeah, you're, you're dating yourself. But we can, we can, we can see. possibly find out about Aiden. Yeah. Alejo, sometimes all right. that's all you want is pure. Well, okay. Let's go back. Excellent. Thank you. Dude, How can you just say dragging them out in the streets here and murking them? Just dargin them. That's all they do. Jeez. Uh, Bruce, want to talk? Heck yeah. Let's talk, DJ. Art, what's a video game you remember from your childhood? Uh, there was a game I used to play at the Walmart called Strider. Oh, like um, like Capcom Strider, like where you go around and you're like a ninja. Yeah, I remember it because uh, it has a, a cutscene in it where it goes, hmm, my name is Strider, hear you, and you will never leave Eurasia alive. That was pretty good. I pumped so many quarters in that game. <laughs> <laughs> We, ha we somehow got onto that topic in chat, and now I'm just having it spill over. Go. Oh, wow, that was fast. I can't believe it. Sellum is executed and dies. Go ah, to there it is. Oh. oh there, there you, it is. Sell her. All right. Oh, well, that happened. No, uh, you didn't. Okay. All right, well, there's your, uh, there's your outsider. Yeah, there's our mutant. Um, no so we're no. definitely hitting Aiden tonight. I feel like you kind of have to, right? Yeah. Uh, so hitting hitting Aiden. Well, so what I wanted to talk to Resnora was about is that uh, based on the fuck that she gave uh, when she found out she was dead, probably empath. Um, but that empath zero gives us a ton of information, right? Trusts you, because, trust DJ. Mm-hmm. Because the other side of that is a fucking bounty hunter. So yeah. And probably and therefore not an evil bounty hunter. Uh, yeah. Could have an evil minstrel. We could have an evil minstrel. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be hitting Aiden tonight. So, outsider dies. Um, doesn't proc the minstrel. Uh, right. But could proc a godfather. It could, yeah. Um, and if I miss tonight, then we get we can find out whether there's a godfather or not, more likely. Actually, you kind of want to miss tonight, don't you? Um, possibly. Uh, if I do kill Aiden, then it tells us that DJ is evil, right? Thing is, if Aiden dies, yeah, it could also imply that drunk. puzzle. There's a puzzle master drunk, or there's a very specific poisoning going on. Alejo grew up with the PS2. Oh, I forgot how young Alejo is. I also have a PS2. Well, I mean, I do. I don't currently, but I I had a PS2. I currently have one because I have all of my consoles. What would you say is your favorite console? Oh, sorry. Balachon's here. Hey, my phone. We can have a chat. <laughs> um, I would like to kill Aiden. Oh. Thank you very much. Our PS2 actually ended up dying too, Ed. Um... We just it, it just yeah it just kicked it just kicked out one day. Did you ever clean it? Yeah. Probably. Okay, fair enough. Pro probably. Like, I swear to God, like like ninety five percent of issues that people have with their gaming systems, it's because they never open it up and clean it ever, and it's just fucking dirt and grime and shit <laughs> that gets in there. Uh, Coda needs to get a PS two and a GameCube. Uh, good luck finding GameCube still. It's, uh, it's not the easiest system to find anymore. PS2s you could probably find pretty okay. What was the first system you owned? Um, not first system I played skills. Uh, first system I owned probably was a PS2, actually. No, it was a GameCube. It was a GameCube. 
I ended up, I, my, my family would buy ones for my brother and I, but like when I went to college, my brother didn't want a GameCube, so I ended up buying one for myself. GameCubes are, they're, uh, they're valuable, Jackie, because Melee players still seek out actual GameCubes. I don't think Aiden's going to die tonight. Uh, I mean, we're going to find out, right? Mm -hmm. He was willing to hard claim pretty quickly and... Not as a bluff, like probably as a demon. Yeah. You wouldn't have it, or as a minion, you probably wouldn't have it, so... I mean, there's no reason that a minion can't do the same thing. They're just sort of trying to hope that they hit an out-of-play role or they're going to pivot later when they get an actual bluff, right? Yes, Ed, I'm trying to actually talk about the game. Listen, people didn't tune in here to hear about me and Navian's retro gaming systems. Well, not entirely for that. They also want to watch Clock Tower. Patrick, don't even get me started because I am a Melee grandpa and I will play Melee until the <laughs> end of time. Okay? Trying to make me out to be some kind of degenerate or some deviant. Which I am, but not for those reasons. Why does Dylan want to private chat tomorrow? Oh, that's with Bruce. Never mind. Um, yeah, we're going to be looking to talk to Resnora first thing, hopefully. All Smash players are degens. Oh, get out of here with that elitist bullshit. <laughs> Smash isn't a fight. I don't game. know. I think I think I might agree with that. Oh, but geez. here's the thing: um, being a degenerate is not always a bad thing. It's true. It's true. I mean, like I said, I'm pretty degenerate about a couple things. So, um, I think Tomato starts us on a tangent, and we go from there. Oh, yeah. Morning, town. Welcome back. You had a good night's sleep. Um, pretty restful night. Um, you're missing one person. Ryback's died in the night. Mm. You got another seven minutes to chat. Good luck, everyone. Mm. So uh, Rose, Rose, Nora, Nora. can we go chat? <laughs> yep, Bruce. lead the way. I'll follow Navian, you. Navian, can we okay. chat, please? Oh, uh, do Hi, uh, I'm the lycanthrope that killed you. Were you the empath? I was not. Ah, damn. I was really hoping to get that empath zero substantiated. Yeah, no, I was a mathematician. Okay. Um, what did you get on night one? I got a zero. Okay, a zero. That's interesting. Right, so uh, DJ is the bounty hunter who saw Dylan and then Aiden. Last night I chose Aiden, and uh, Ryback died instead. Yep. Um, I know that um, I have spoken to someone who is hard claimed. Sorry, guys. Cat threw up. I gotta go take care of it. I'll be right back. Aiden. Um, I think it's safe to say that Aiden is either the minion or the demon. Yeah, I think we kill Aiden today. Um, yep. The only other thing that I have is Dylan, Dylan hard claimed outsider, but DJ's ping on Aiden seems accurate, so that seems not likely. Um, Aiden hard claimed minstrel to me. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that there's not actually a minstrel in play because minstrel and bounty hunter are uh, sad times for the bounty hunter. Um, yep. Yeah, I think Aiden's the right kill for today. Uh, if I'm still, well, I should still be alive if we kill Aiden today. Um, do you have anybody that you think I should target? No. Okay. I mean, so wait, so DJ is the bounty hunter. DJ has hard claimed bounty hunter with pings on Dylan and then Aiden. Okay. Then there we go. They were, I'm just like, cause they were, they, they were the person who gave me an outsider in their threes. So I just wanted to like just claw that off. Um, gotcha. Yeah, no. Everyone else I've talked to, um, Aine is either dead or yeah, <laughs> or or um, it's unfortunate. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling pretty okay with them right now. Okay, so, so. Um, you're the only person that I like hard trust this game because right. you died to my lycanthrope pick. 
Um, so uh, I'm going to try to spread out maybe and talk to some new people today. And you can let me know if you hear of anybody you think that a lycanthrope should choose. Um, I should maybe talk with... Uh, who was that that was saying that they'd heard of a lycanthrope? Because I didn't speak with them. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, that's I fine. think maybe it was Dylan? Um, no, I think it was somebody else, but I'm not actually sure who. That's fine. Uh, it was Mario? I'll figure it out. If, um, if there's a lycanthrope double claiming me, then, you know, uh, we'll kill them too. Yep. Alright, cool. Uh, thanks, Resnor. Yep, no problem. Thank you. We're waiting for Navian. Navian, can we talk? Alright, Res, let's go chat then. Uh, right back, would you like to talk? Sorry, I'll, I'll be back after Res. Oh, sorry. Um, did you pick Ryback last night? Nope. Oh dear. Who did you pick? Um, it was you, Aiden. Oh, that's good. Yep. There's also a bounty hunter with a ping on you, so things are not looking good for you right now. Oh, no worries. Kill me. I do not mind. Absolutely do not mind. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, one, one thing that I realized uh, when I got that bounty hunter claim is that minstrel and bounty hunter don't work very well together anyway. No. If so, I'm kind of have me yeah, up, I'd rather not fuck up. There's, there's absolutely worlds where you are good. Um, and yeah. I missed because I was hit by a poisoner, for example. Um, yeah. And the bounty hunter is making stuff up or is puzzle drunk. Uh, yeah. But. No, they can't be no, puzzle have, drunk, have actually. No, have me, have me, have rid of me. Have rid of me. It's fine. Okay. It's absolutely fine. I will nominate myself. Okay. Uh, yep, sorry. Uh, just to give you information, everyone I've spoken to uh, has basically said mm -hmm. don't hit them. So... Yeah, people... well, somebody's got to get hit at some point, right? I, I know, I know. Uh, so, um, uh, DJ, uh, Elspeth, Art, Madeline have all said no goes. Right back claimed yep. uh, fortune teller or innkeeper. Um, oh, that's a lot. So I, I I have reason to believe he's innkeeper. Okay. Um. Oh, did he choose you? Actually, no. uh, okay, he didn't oh, choose you. I I don't know. I haven't spoken to him. Yeah, I need to speak with right back then. I he was he was apparently p uh, picking seller. Who like yesterday he was a mutant. He broke madness to me. Yeah. That was that was unfortunate. Shall we, shall we, I'm, if you're happy to speak to him together in this chat, I'm fine to speak with him together. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Hey, uh, we don't have a lot of time. I need to know if you're the innkeeper. I was. Um, <laughs> who did you pick last night? Uh, night two, I picked you and Madeline. Night three, picked Mario and Nat and you. Okay, kill me. Okay. It's fine. Happy off. Happy All right. Off. Um, just uh, uh, yeah, that's another part of our conversation. Uh, I will go back on what we said about Rob. So. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Ryback, um, I'm the lycanthrope. I chose Resnora, who died. I chose Aiden, who didn't die. There's a bounty hunter ping on Aiden, but if I was potentially innkeeper drunk, then that would explain why I missed if Aiden is good. And I'm, okay. I'm, I'm actually the minstrel. Okay. Yep. Um, we have a potential evil bounty hunter, um, but I won't be able to tell until tomorrow night. Okay. I'm going I'm to nominate myself. Have me off, please. It's absolutely fine. I do not mind this. Time to head back, James. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. That's a double claim, Resnora. Resnora, were you in a? Were you in a? Well, if a that's a double swap? claim, where's uh, the no. double claim? Yeah, that whoever's double claiming me uh, needs to be executed today because right. this is my yeah. token. Ma I died. Mario and I died night 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 Mario, uh, yeah, I was about to say nominations are open, so I'll let that go. So. Mario nominates her. Why should I, why should I die? Art claim mathematician to me. Ah, what do you got to say about being a mathematician? Yeah, I claim mathematician. I think I claimed washerwoman. 
I hadn't got around. I think I claimed Empath. I haven't really got around to claiming everything yet. I was on my way to that, though. Not enough conversations in a day. Person info who claimed Mathematician to me as well. It will take four to put out there on the block. Go. I do think that we do have a better kill today, but if yeah, we want to get this on the block, that's... I think we definitely have a better kill today, but I'm going to have someone else nominate for me. I think I knew that better kill is. Well, you have to since you're dead, Dylan. Dylan. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, I, I suppose that's the case. Has anyone else got a nomination? Bruce nominates Mario. Aiden. I heard Bruce first. Who, who was that you were nominating, Bruce? Mario. Bruce nominates Mario. Why should Mario die? I pass my accusation to Dylan. So, um, I've got a little story about <laughs> how my day one whispers went. Uh, hi. Everyone, I am your acrobat for this game. I talked to three people on day one. I talked to Elspeth, Navian, and Mario. Mario was my second conversation. Uh, in that conversation, uh, I did a thing where I outed straight acrobats to them. And I said, if you're potentially on an evil team and you have a Fangu and need a scapegoat, I would be willing to keep quiet about my role. Mario then proceeded to end a conversation with, well, I'm good, so I'll just keep that in mind, or something along those lines. I'm just sort of paraphrasing. Later that day, right before nominations occurred, Mario pulled me into a second whisper and goes, hey, would you like to be jumped to? But then I was executed off of a bounty hunter ping. I don't know where the bounty hunter ping is coming from, but it's either drunk She's okay. or an evil bluff. But one thing that I know for sure is that Mario blatantly drop. offered to Fangu jump to me, whether by his own fruition or by someone else's. So, yeah, that's how my day one went. And you can vote on that how you will. Mario, what do you got to say about that day one shenanigan story? So I was uh, I am indeed. very interested in just playing a normal sweetheart game. Uh, I was playing my uh, Switch, playing the new courses on Mario Kart, and having a fun time. I'm the goblin claiming goblin, um, and everything uh, was going well, and I was looking out the window. So yeah, um, don't kill me. I'm the goblin. Yep, I recognize the goblin claim. It will take four to die. Five to put Mario on the block. Oh my god. Oh, goblin. That is. Navy. Yeah, come on, let's, let's over. Let's I over think write. we should leave it on art for right now. No, let's uh, I it. have something you might want to suggest. I might want to. Yeah. For the record, I could have claimed goblin too. Mario, we're safe for the day. Um, Anyone nomination? Would... Nominates okay, Aiden. Go. How do you feel about getting rid of Devon? Adeline nominates Adams. Aiden. What have you got against Aiden? Um, I this may be first hand or second hand, but um, if we're willing to hear out the bounty hunter information, uh, the next ping is Aiden. Evil Mr. Um, it to, may so. not be yeah. sober and healthy, but just in case it is, I want to leave this option out for us because I'm reading art better, mm, but at the chance. same time, the double claim is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Not gonna lie. Aiden, what you got to say about that? Uh, there is reasons to think I'm evil, um, but there are also equally reasons to think I'm good. Um, I've we've told one person my uh, role. Uh, I've gone telling people, what, well, I've gone telling what my actual role is. Um, I am in a uh, role swap. I'm not going to reveal, reveal who that is with, um, but um, yeah, there's bounty ping. We don't really trust at the minute because of what Dylan's just come out with. Um, and there's art double claiming. Um, I don't know what art's doing to be fair, but um, yeah, yeah, maybe tomorrow. To um, but in right now, um, I think art is probably better. I'll be happy to die, uh, maybe tomorrow, and then out the role that I'm actually am. Okay, it will take four to die, five to put Aiden on the block. Guys, spend a there are plenty of reasons for a good character to lie here on Aaron Rodgers. I hope you guys can. Continue okay. doing your division. I don't know what the voting pattern was there. Uh, was we should not right. do this. Uh, we sh I was going to say, we should definitely shouldn't tie. Okay, there was oh, we shouldn't Jesus. tie it. Yeah, shouldn't I know, I put my hand up to not tie, and then DJ put his down at the same oh! time. But, oh, oh, my God, I got David, to oh, it. I got in my heart. <laughs> I, I, I got to it. Aiden is safe for the day. 
Any more nominations? I'm very lost, by the way. Close day in I miss a very in crucial day. Can, can, can I nominate your Discord app for making you all beetly sounding? It happened Ooh. again. Yeah, right. it, yeah, it kind of is. Okay. Um, I feel I feel like I have to nominate here because I don't want to die. Um, I will nominate Navian. Uh, nominate Navian. Why should Navian die? Navian wants me dead. Navian, what do you have to say about that? I'm not in a double claim. There's several people who know why I am not a good kill. Um, four to die, five to put Navian on the block. There are several people who know why I am a good kill. Uh, oh, one man. thing that I will add to this conversation, Navian was one of the people that I talked to on day one, uh, mentioning that I Arthur was an Sophia. outsider, and they did not decide to lift me from the block to keep an open Fangu target, so... Uh, one is not enough. Um, don't think you're going to beat this on out, um, so I'll close the day in 10 seconds unless there's another nomination. Closing in five, four, three, two, one. How would you like to be executed at? I don't care. Whatever. Uh, it's from indifference. We'll go to sleep. Good night, everyone. Hmm. Well. Right. Okay. So, um, if Art is a minion there, then we uh, get nothing happens tonight, right? There's no kills at all. Um, if Aiden is good. Um. I missed most of that day, so I'm catching up. Yeah, a little yeah, yeah. Bit. Right. So the, the problem um, is if uh, if Aiden is good, then it doesn't matter if I choose him or not because he's just not going to die. Um, if Aiden dies, then. Art wasn't a minion and can't be a demon. Um and then we, we could execute DJ. Goblin minstrel works in town's favor, yes, it does. Yeah, because the goblin would be drunk. Yep, that is correct. Um, I don't trust DJ and I don't trust those pings. Uh I do understand an argument for hitting various other things, but um, yeah, so if if I do hit Aiden, um, it does confirm that Art is not a minion. But I can also just hit DJ and find out whether we should be trusting the ping or not. Because I think that I don't trust them, the pings. Hmm. So I see some other stuff filled in here. You got a hard claim from Dylan, you got a claim from Ryback. Uh, yeah, Ryback's claiming an innkeeper who chose me on night three, which could explain why I missed on Aiden. It's worth picking again. Um, I could, of course, hit into there's one, two, three people that I don't have uh, on my Grim at all. True. Um, yeah. DJ could yeah, be DJ could be good, but poisoned. Some people were saying they'd heard of something about a puzzle master. I haven't heard about that yet. We obviously have the acrobat and the mutant claim. Uh, suggesting that there might yeah. be either a balloon as the godfather or a fangu. Rez got a math zero on night one, so we need to keep that in mind. Hi. Hello. Hello. Do you like and hoping? Uh, can I choose Alejo? <laughs> <laughs> Allow it. You have to play, you have to choose another player though. Okay, fine. Um, so, uh, yes, Ed, I understand your point about if if we hit DJ, we lose control of the death if if they're evil. Um, but at this point, I I think we need to resolve. Um, I think we need to resolve between DJ and Aiden, and I'm not trusting of DJ. So I'll hit DJ, please. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, I don't mean this as criticism, because it's not. I'm just saying, in my position, I wouldn't have hit DJ. I understand why you are hitting him, though. Yep, I mean, it's fine. Uh, if if DJ's information is correct, then we've already got a goblin claim out there, and we would know that Aiden is evil, right? Yes. Um, well... So... Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, unless you're drunk. It severely narrows down 
where where things could be. Right. Um, out of curiosity, yeah. So yeah, what happens if there's no deaths? Art was a minion. Um, then art was a minion. Aiden is good. Um, and we move from there. This is Malachon's script. This is Malachon's script. Uh, Jeff. Malachon wrote this specifically for the goose. Aw, uh, a butt spot. You could have said Aiden is a butt swapping, but no. No, uh, Aiden hard claimed to us, and we were in a sort of pseudo role swap with him. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, the conversation about video game consoles died now that the game is getting interesting. Yeah. Um, so, okay. If no deaths is a bluff from evil, though, that's amazing to make us execute the goblin. Sure, but... Well, not necessarily. Because... I'd, if If there's no deaths, then... Yeah, it could be that evil would be choosing to sink, but this might be their one opportunity to try to kill me, right? Like, if it... Good morning, town. Um, it's been a pretty brutal night. Elspeth has died, and Navian has died. Uh, DJ is evil. Yeah, I already had that written mm. down. Yep. Cool. Um... Uh, can you explain? You already had that sure. written down? Uh, um, public. I'm, I'm happy to just out some stuff publicly. Uh, so Resnora is the mathematician that I, the lycanthrope, killed. Um, I trust Resnora and their information. Their information is a mathematician zero on night one. Uh, we have killed into DJ's pings. I picked DJ last night. There have been deaths. Therefore, Art was not a minion to, who caused a minstrel night. Uh, therefore, DJ is just evil. DJ's pings were on an outsider and n now a, a player that I trust. So yeah. we should kill DJ. Uh, Wait. Nathan, can we have a quick chat? Yep, let's go. Three, let's go. Art, okay. Art, can I talk? Sure, Bruce. Theoretically, Art could have been sweetheart, um, yeah. Well, uh, Elspeth, let's go have our chat real quick. Okay, um, and if you're, are you going to the seller company too? Uh, uh, you want me to? Yeah, if you want, you can. Let's, sure, let's, let's all go see. to Lake Compounds. I like butts bot. You forgot to follow us. How dare. Listen, I'm juggling a bunch of stuff. I'm sorry. Go about your business. F f talk amongst so, yourselves. So anyways, let's fill it in. Oh, hi. Let's yeah. Um, I am willing to trust Aiden at this point. Oh, uh, Bert was okay. not a minion based on Aiden's claim, but uh, Aiden is DJ's second ping, and I don't trust either of those pings. Lichen. I am okay. the Madeline, just uh, reference me and Navian role swapped. Okay. Um, I am actually the... Are we, are we trusting the Madeline here? I'll take what we are. You let me um, yeah, and I you don't, don't know yet, don't know because we haven't really discussed very much. Spot. I just I'm know that, that Madeline was saying well. she was covering for DJ, like trying to hide the fact that he's a bounty hunter. But at this point... Um, you know, uh, there's a. I, I did pick Aiden, but there's an innkeeper who chose me on the night that I chose Aiden, which is why Aiden didn't die. There's no reason that, that innkeeper is now dead. There's no reason other than a poisoner that I should have missed DJ. Um, so Your I think DJ's drunk. just evil. Okay. Um, I'm, Skills I'm, is a lot at of this point. I'm happy down down. Yeah, okay. Madeline, I don't have a claim from you. What are you? Like, I'll, I'll, I'm the farmer. Ah, uh, fuck, I was I looking for you all game. I was looking for you. You said not to go to you. Jesus Christ. I didn't trust you. Oh, my God. That, Again, I'm sorry. I, sorry guys. Guys. I, the window open. I, I apologize. I could tell it was a lie. I didn't know why. <laughs> uh, of course it's a lie. I wrote stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. That's fair. No, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Fair enough. Okay. Um, um, I yes, think skills. I want to talk to uh, Art. Congratulations. You're happy. Definitely. I know. Good. All right. Good luck. No, here, we're going to do this. 
Yeah. There's someone who wants to talk to me that's in okay. Apparently, I've been lied to about by fuck. Hey, um, were you an outsider? Yep. Ah, fuck. Okay. Um, sorry we killed you. Uh, I had information that I thought was going off of, um, that cleared some people, and, uh, okay, it Patrick, actually doesn't. You know. Um, DJ's just evil. We need to kill DJ today. Well, whatever you decide to do, uh, you should know, and you'll be the only person I've told this to. I'm the barber, so there was a barber swap oh. last night. Ooh, spicy. Okay. Um, do you know anything about Elspeth or Bruce? Uh, Bruce claimed Washerwoman to me, but just reclaimed as the cannibal to me. Wanted to know okay. what he got. He didn't get anything last night. Okay, um, so Bruce cannibal. Alright, so here's my grim at the moment. Uh, a DJ bounty hunter, but evil. Um, I chose them last night. There's no longer a living innkeeper, therefore there's no reason works. other than a poisoner that I would miss, uh, other than DJ's just evil. Um, math, math, sorry, Resnora is the mathematician with a zero. Um, which, if DJ weren't evil, means that Dylan had to be the correct info, um, but I don't believe it. Uh, the reason after we executed Dylan there was no second death is because I, as in the lycanthrope, and I chose Resnora, therefore only one player could die, so I stopped the... I stopped the Godfather's initial kill. Um, although Seller was executed, I chose Aiden, and only one player died, which means the Godfather either sunk or hit the same player, which is entirely possible. Uh, Aiden's claiming Minstrel, Madeline is claiming Farmer, Mario I have down as Goblin, Bruce Cannibal, yourself Barber, Seller, Mutant, I mean, I Ryback Innkeeper, who chose me Night 3, which is why Aiden didn't die, um, Dylan is the Acrobat, I don't have anything for Elspeth, but Aiden is claiming Minstrel, which means basically if as long as we kill an evil player today, then we are in good shape because there will be no deaths in the night. Got it, so killing DJ is the play then? Yeah. Okay, thanks for the info. Um, but we may need to use dead boats because there's definitely a world where there's just three evils alive and we need to get four on DJ. Sure. Uh, all right, thanks, Art. Th thank you. I'll play you. Yeah, do you know what? It's about to get sweetheart drunk. You're probably just both evil. Welcome yeah, I'd be. Um, yeah. you have five alive, uh, nope. I'll let you talk for a minute or so, and then we'll open nominations. So there's a world where we have, uh, three evils alive. It is a pretty likely world at this point, um, which means that we may need to use dead boats, but we need to get an evil on the block today. Of course. I think we go I for DJ. I my info publicly. I was balloonist. My pings were Cellar, Aiden, Mario. Um... So, so Aiden's Aiden looking Mario. to me like either a demon or a townsfolk. Uh, it'll be townsfolk, sure. Yeah, I suspect um, based yeah, on a few Aiden, different so. pieces of information um, that Seller would be the outsider, obviously, Aiden the townsfolk, and Mario would have to be either the minion or the demon there. I mean, I've already explained why, right? I mean, I'm a I agree Aiden's the townsfolk, but, um, I am definitely mm -hmm. the, uh, I agree, Ed. one of the outsiders. So oh, well, Seller I'd is just mechanically just confirmed poison. as the mutant. Yeah. yeah, so Elspeth might have just mm -hmm. been poisoned the night they got my name. On that, the of open. When you ready so, for Mario nominee? Um, we yeah. have to have a godfather, so I think we have a godfather and a goblin. Mario nominates yeah. DJ. Uh, why should DJ die, Mario? Uh, I believe they were out of evil by town today, so let's get them killed. What are you going to say about that, DJ? Um, well, first off, I am a bounty hunter, so I I believe there's a chance of poison night one because I'm sitting in the demon spot. But more importantly, because, based off those balloonist pings, I am almost positive that Aiden is actually a demon who's just a Thangu. And that's why I learned them. That's it. It takes three to put DJ on the block. Yeah. I agree. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry. Stellar, you can put your hand down. Thank you. Look at that arc. If it's enough, um, I doubt you're going to beat that. I don't so think there's any other time. So I'll close the day in 10 either. seconds unless yeah. anyone's got anything else to nominate. 
DJ, why did you vote for yourself if you think there's a potential better kill out there? Oh, because I'm about here. I've learned enough information. Well, Plus that's not eight, progressing oh, and killing three, into evils. You two, all you all believe in evil, one, so why am I going to fight? Uh, DJ, how would you like to die? Flaming tire. Hey, uh, you walk out into town square and like a pay cart with big tires is being pushed through town and someone just runs up to it and sets it on fire and pushes it down the hill and it rolls over you and you you both burn to the, you both burn alive and get crushed at the same time and you die pretty horrific everyone's scared good night everyone seemed a little easy um yeah, but it still gets us information, right? Uh, at that point, DJ is just likely to be um, a minion. Um, I think in that world, Madeline is probably the demon, unless they barber swapped with Goblin. If basically, so basically, with the with the three outsider claims that we have, and with Art causing an extra death, it's got to be a Godfather either have a godfather or an assassin with a balloonist. If Elspeth is claiming balloonist and there is a godfather, you could have all four. We could, and that would make Mario this, but no, no, we can't, because if Elspeth is the balloonist, then she's seen Seller and Mario. We would have to have a poisoner in that world, and I don't believe that we do. Right. Unless Mario is just claiming goblin just and is actually just the poisoner, or the demon. Yeah, sure, could be. You know. I'm gonna go try to give Nutmeg some food, so actually no, I'll just wait until okay. day phase. I'll I'll wait till day phase. Because we have to we gotta carry the conversation along while we're here. Yeah, but um what happens um tonight, uh whether there's any kill or not, will tell us something, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Um it tells us um, whether Aiden is, is actually, uh, the minstrel. actually the minstrel. Because if, if so, there's only two worlds where DJ's evil, right? DJ is a bounty hunter who made himself evil, or DJ is just a minion. Is the, so, all right, it's four. We're gonna about to go down to final three if the demon gets a kill off today. Does a demon, to try to back up the minion, or to back up the minstrel bluff is there any reason why a minstrel bluff would actually sink a kill tonight to try to substantiate the world of it being the to, of themselves as a minstrel because going from four to three you want that as a demon you know yeah i feel like if you were trying to back up your minstrel claim like sinking a oh. good morning town um and it's a good morning no one died in the night um, this is final four, so it could be your final day. Uh, good luck. We've got about five minutes to chat, and then we'll. Okay, so I want to trust Aiden. Um, Not that. a shocker, to Aiden. Exactly, Patrick. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so Wait. the world where Aiden is is um, mm -hmm. evil, and uh, mm -hmm. is be the world where a demon purposefully sunk in order to make DJ look like a minion when he's not. But I, I don't believe that at this point uh i just think that dj was a minion and aiden is good what is i'm can <sighs> you fully trust it i am mm. confused no dj i do not believe aiden sucked the kill i believe they're just what stop what's stopping him from the cell is blocked when i'm the one pointing at him you what is minion. what is Aiden claiming? Minstrel. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I roll sort with Avian day one, who was one of the first whispers. Um, and I went around town basically asking people if happy to die for a top four or a farm or anything like that, looking a little bit sus, I guess. Uh, but trying to just, I was just hard tamed. Um, like a throat. Like a throat. Like a throat. There we go. Like a throat to about. Five, six people I'll be down, right back. Day through to day, day two through to day four. Oh, sorry, day one to day three, should I say? So, yeah, that was. But I am, I am the minstrel. So then, amongst the the other three living players, who do we think it is? 
I have nothing. Oh, I think we need to do a round robin. Mm, no, I think there's a reason that we Please should go no. to sleep, and uh, I we can do it tomorrow. Can we have chats and stuff though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we should. Um, Bruce, can we go chat? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Navy, can we have a bit of a natter? Sure. Uh, can I join that? Guess not. Thanks. Guess not. Cool, cool. Did someone want to join? Uh, yeah, can I join Aiden? Can I join Aiden? Ah, uh, there's so many people. Let me ask. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I'm, I'm still like. Okay. Mario, I think you're going to find your claim of goblin kind of prevents you from joining a lot of conversations. I, I wonder why. You know what? I'm, I'm going to actively a conversation to burn the stereotypes. You can claim goblin Mario and still can't. talk. I'm Maybe just saying. Unless my information's wrong. Because you just... I got I got both of them for my balloonist thing. Sure, let's go talk, Madeline. Okay. So... I'll why did the minstrel work? Or... That's not suspicious. The, the, the minstrel would work. That's why there was no deaths last yeah, night I in mean, that world. I mean, I mean, yeah. Like, D DJ, are you? I think the minstrel's fake. Right? No, I, I, I am the best. Um, Poco or Imp, or we have a uh, an assassin, and DJ is likely uh, in an assassin world. DJ is likely the spent assassin. Yeah. Because Mario the Goblin, and I think that Madeline's probably the um, probably the demon here, but uh, we need to go to sleep to see what happens, right? Um, Farmer is a great option for uh, Fangu to bluff, um, but we also have a balloonist claim who died in the night, so I believe the balloonist is probably good. Okay. But yeah, there's um, with the Barber claim um, from Art, there's definitely the world where the Goblin and the Demon swap. Oh, that's right. Uh, we can kill the Goblin. Fridays, but we can kill the Goblin tonight, because you're so here and I'm the Goblin the is drunk cats. right now. Shouts yep. to my wife because she's point. fantastic. Uh, Mario, I think we should do that. Hold on. I mean, you know, all over, uh, until dusk tomorrow. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Point. If this is, and Navian, uh, if this is the yeah. being million off early and believing that there's a way that those oh, goblin is drunk because of me. I promised you, Aiden, I am not fooling you. Um, if anybody is getting any, like, over on anybody, it's you getting something over on me because you would be the demon and yeah. you're trying to convince us it's a minstrel day when it's not. Stop. Then, you know, stop. Yeah. All right, let's go. The information out you have. <clears throat> welcome back welcome back everyone um i think we're just gonna ask it, are all of the living players willing to sleep today uh, um, but before no. you answer that can we say something absolutely uh we have a minstrel claim that most of us trust right now uh and we have a goblin claim that we can kill because they are drunk because there's a minstrel claim that we trust Does that Bruce mean that dominates be... Mario? <laughs> yep, nominations are yep, open if everyone's ready, which sounds like they are. So, Boost, why should Mario die? Uh, Navian brings up a good point. Let's kill the goblin. Uh, Mario, what do you got to say about that? Uh, yeah, I trust Aiden, so, but I am the sweetheart. Uh, but I will um, say I am the goblin, so, um, I claim goblin and. Yeah, uh, good work, Aiden. We'll take two to put Mario on the block. No, the minstrel would proc. Wait, do we want a full win if that. only three people are alive? Do we want nope. dead votes? Wait, but the minstrel, what they're saying is the minstrel will proc, so the demon will not get to kill in the night. Yeah, yeah. the minstrel oh, will proc, yeah. the demon doesn't get to kill. We have just uh, narrowed down a world, right? Yeah. Five is enough. Uh, uh, yeah. There's definitely a world where Aiden is the demon, in which case, um, good job on his part for uh, flexing on all of us with this play, but I believe Aiden is just good. I would, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, draw as a demon. I, am sorry. I thought I had it up. I think it's very unlikely you're getting legit. more time, so unless you've got another nomination, sorry, I'll close the name in five seconds. Three, two, one. Uh, how would you like to be executed, Mario? 
I win the as goblin. Uh, so now yeah, runs out into town shouting about being the goblin and winning the game and it seems a bit weird because you don't really know what a goblin is uh, and Mario trips and falls and dies and everybody goes to sleep. Ah, Here you go boys. And girls. Oh. My buttons have gotten for the bot. Where have they gone? No. <laughs> um, type slash buttons. Okay. I'll just use this. It's fine. I've got it. Uh, why are we going tonight? Oh, uh, because it's a minstrel night. So we're going to go to sleep with three and wake up with three, unless Aiden is somehow I, the minion or the evil townsfolk and has fucking bamboozled us all. Um, although if he's the evil townsfolk, he's still the minstrel, so it's still Brox. Oh, by the way, sorry, guys. I didn't have the screen up, but it didn't update to see the vote. But yes, there was five votes on that last one. Yeah, um, so uh, we're going to find out. So, I mean, I just hard trust Aiden. It's going to be a 50-50 between Bruce and Madeline. We'll see what they're going to uh, be saying tomorrow. Wow, it's a minstrel night on final three. <laughs> it sure is. Um, so Bruce has claimed cannibal, um, and not to me, but to somebody else who gave me the claim, and Madeline's claimed farmer. Uh, really unfortunate that I did not get that claim before I died right. because that would have been perfect. Shit. It's an actual 50-50. Um, at this point, yeah, we're going to have to see what, uh, what people end up saying. Unless Aiden is slow rolling. I don't see why he would, right? I know, I know, I know. Like... You could just I, win the game. The, and, and socially speaking, Aiden reads good. Good morning, town. Um, no one's died. It's your final three. Good luck, everyone. Nominations are open when you're ready for them. So it's 50 50 between Bruce and Madeline, basically. <laughs> Um, yeah, unless, yeah. So let's do our, our full round robin then. Yeah. Can I, can I yeah. request that we start with Bruce, please? Yep, Is we're watching bad, from Navian's point of view. Uh, yeah, actually, I think that's a good call. Bruce, can you start? My heart, it's broken. I'm the cannibal who didn't wake up at all until DJ died and then I was told Mario. And then last night, I was told to pick a player and I picked Aiden, and then I was told to pick another player, and then I picked Madeline, and then I learned that they're on the same team. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Art. Barber. Seller. Uh, the mutant. Okay. Ryback. Buttons. I was your innkeeper. Night two, drank with Madeline and Navian. Night three was given the, I was called to dr uh, have drinks with um, Mario and Navian. I died that evening. Okay, Dylan. Acrobat, died day one. Yeah, my story, that's all I got to say. Okay, and Elspeth. I'm the blue next. And your pings in order were? Uh, Seller, and then Eden, and then Mario. Okay, DJ. Bounty Hunter learned Dylan on the first night, and Eden has been paying ever since. Resnora. Mathematician who got a zero night one. Okay, I was the Lycanthrope. I killed Resnora on night two. I then chose Aiden, who did not die because I was innkeeper drunk, and then I chose DJ, who did not die because DJ is just a minion. Uh, Aiden. Minstrel was the reason for being able to kill the so called goblin uh, yesterday, and also the reason there was no demon death after we killed DJ because he, uh, in this world, is a minion. Madeline? I'm the farmer. I am Sag Farmer. And Mario. I'm the sweetheart. One of y'all is drunk. 
All right. Uh, so that is our round robin. Um, so so we executed Dylan. Bruce wouldn't wake up. And then Seller was executed due to their own ability. So Bruce wouldn't wake up. And then we executed Art, right? <laughs> Therefore, Bruce yeah. wouldn't wake up. Yeah. And um, okay. I, why did I get like seamstress info My, when we executed Mario? Can I meta the storyteller on that? Um, because you would be uh, A, poisoned, and B, drunk from the minstrel. I mean, yeah, that's fair, but I'm also like, wouldn't. Wouldn't Malachan go the route of trying to confirm Mario's bluff? Maybe. Maybe. So here's the thing. And thought Mario what demon was is it? Seamstress, not uh, sweetheart. Mmm. What so, demon is this? It's 100 um, of Fangu because that's what Mario told me essentially. Yeah, I, I think that um, it's it's quite likely to be a Godfather and. Uh, with a balloonist and a fangu, so um, the Godfather is doing a minus one with the balloonist and the fangu both being a plus one, There's and therefore three. we end up at three right. outsiders, like and that's that. also why there was a second death after we executed Art. Dylan, I was just lying to you to see if you had anything, because you came off evil to me. Uh, then why would you break my heart like this? If it's a fangu, then I think Madeline is probably the demon because Farmer is an incredibly convenient bluff for a fangu. If it's not a fangu, then it's really just a 50 50. Uh, Madeline was it also confirm the person it, Ed, who but covered it, for, was it covering does. for DJ with yes. the bounty hunter claim, which to be fair, a good player would also do. So that's not necessarily damning information. No. The only role so that they would get explicitly are we all told is. I ignored the idea that maybe there is no balloonist and we have one of these three players got jumped to. So Elspeth well, nominations. Sorry. died in the night. Um, we have killed all of our outsider claims, like, right? Supposedly. Yeah. There uh, might be there's... a And there is no... Uh, there's no sure, then there is no yeah. balloons. Um, that's the world, but I just don't really believe nice. it. Here's, here's the thing. The reason I don't believe, because if... If, if we had... Um, a puzzle master, because that's the only outside that has not been accounted for. Then the only re way I would have gotten a zero, right, is if I was puzzle master drunk. If we didn't have a poisoner and we didn't have a puka, that's the only way I would have gotten a zero as the mathematician. Because the um, because so the the other world is where um, somebody who doesn't act on night one got hit by a poisoner. Like for example, yeah. if myself or Aiden were hit on night one, then it wouldn't trigger you. Mm. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Call for nominations. I First nominate was um, uh, Madeline, not present. I don't want to do that. Whoa. Sure, you don't want to nominate a dead body, Bruce? You can if you want. No, 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 Madeline. <laughs> what? Bruce nominates Madeline. Why should Madeline die? Madeline's the demon. Um, yeah, this is this is who we kill here. Aiden, from my world, is confirmed good. Um, I'm just a cannibal. I don't know why I lived this long unless town is suspicious of me, but I, it's Madeline. Madeline, uh, what's your defense? Um, I'm in an unfortunate situation. I will be counter nomming you, by the way. Also, I'm not Resnor. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I think this was a very bad situation for me. I don't see any way it's going to work. I'm just going to do my counter nom out of spite. And yeah. I'm just a sad farmer. A counter mom and that will lead if it's a to. Thank you, bro. Good God, this sucks. It will take gross. two to put Madeline on the block. I think Bruce wanted to nominate Riznora just so that he could actually get a useful night of cannibal information. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Seven votes is enough, and yeah. Madeline is on the block. Um, that left. can't be beaten, but do you want to do your nomination out of spite, Madeline? Yes, I would like to nominate Bruce out of spite. Ah, uh, what's your accusation? Because you are literally the, the other candidate because I trust Aiden. Bruce, what do you got to say about being nominated out of spite? Uh, we can't beat this or tie this, right? No, there's only six okay. votes. Okay, uh, let's all vote on that. <laughs> okay, it will take seven to tie and eight to put Booze out of the block out of six votes. I love it. <laughs> oh I love my... that you were like, let's all vote. Oh my god, oh Aiden, my... we tricked them. Good job, Aiden. Oh.
I have no idea what you're talking about. My token is blue. <laughs> but it's less than seven. Um, how would you like to be executed, Madeline? Screaming, very hellish, eldritch language. Yeah, yeah, one. Well, good job, too. Good team. <laughs> oh, you have killed the demon. Um, hey. I don't think anyone fully has the grim, but you got to the important parts. That was a crazy couple of days at the beginning. Um. Yeah, I wasn't lying. I'm not the goblin, y'all. Yeah, so um, let's start with Bruce. Poor Bruce, the cannibal. Yeah. Who, um, day one, you executed Dylan the acrobat. And Bruce would have actually died that day with the acrobat's ability. But um, Navy and the Lycan boat killed Resmora, so there could only be one death. Um, because Bruce was, one of Bruce's good neighbors was Aiden the minstrel, who was poisoned by DJ the Poisoner. So that tells you, you know, Madeline was your fangu and Mario was indeed your godfather. Um, so then oh. Bruce, then poor old Bruce, then you, then Sella blew up and Bruce got the minu uh, got the mutant ability for the day. And the next day you executed Art the Barber and Bruce got the Barber ability for the day. Oh my god. <laughs> and then you executed DJ, DJ the Poisoner uh, who was bluffing Bounty Hunter. So I gave Bruce a true Bounty Hunter thing as it turns out on Mario the Godfather. And then when Mario the Godfather was executed, I thought, why not? The only chance Evil has got here is to make Bruce look suspicious. So I just gave Bruce random seamstress info to see if they could make it look, make him look suspicious. Because I was just like, why not at this point? Everyone was pretty certain it was Madeline from private discussions I was listening in on. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was your bow's head. So, yeah. My back was your innkeeper, who um, yeah, night two protected Madeline the Fangu and Navy and the Lycan. So Madeline was drunk, but Madeline decided to sink anyway and Navian was protected and killed Vesno, so it didn't really matter. Night three, you, who was it? It was Navian and Mario, was it right back? I think. Uh, it was Navian and Mario, yep. Yep. So that night I, I was sort of, I, based on picks, I decided to drunk Navian, as they correctly called. Uh, so because you'd executed an, out, uh, an outsider that day, Mario got to kill and decided to kill you, which was, was a, a very good kill for evil. Um, yeah. But the demon, the demon kill had already missed by attacking Navian because the demon goes before uh, Godfather. So the demon attacked the, the Lycanthrope that night, and it was a valid attack. But you say the you Vibak saved Navian the Lycanthrope for a day. Mm -hmm. um, Elspeth was the bluenest who saw Sela the mutant. Then Aiden the townsfolk who there was a lot of sus on at that point. So I thought that was a good good bluenest thing to try and sell the world where Aiden was evil. Uh, then saw Mario the Godfather because there was already it was already closing in on Madeline and it wanted to, had to give a minion because it was sober info um, or the demon didn't want to give the demon and then got killed that night before they got their deep ping on Madeline that would have definitely they were poisoned right I believe that oh night? they were poisoned yeah that night that Madeline killed Elspeth because Navian had attacked DJ the so demon got to kill DJ also poisoned the blueness so it actually might have helped to not kill Elspeth there because Ooh. would have got poisoned info that was a bit of bad luck on evil's uh, behalf. Aiden was the dimensional, as you know. Reginald was the mathematician who got a zero because nothing went wrong night one. Um, and I think that's everybody, right? Yep, that's everybody. Um, it was a really fun game to watch. Godfather. Yeah, three kills and not a single thing you jump. One of them was blocked by the lichen, the other two went through. Could I ask Madeline something real quick? What? What was going through your head when it came out with my story to you first thing? I was I'm like, too. what the oh, hell is that. this BS? Mario, come I, on, man. I told I Madeline. I told Madeline. I don't know why Madeline oh. nominated him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Madeline nominated oh. Dylan. Oh, wait. Well, no, 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 I don't look. I had two conflicting plans, trying to co coordinate with my minions. The plan? Both had goals that were opposing each other fundamentally, and I was uh, just like, "Shit, shit, oh shit! Gosh. Who do I accommodate? Well, shit!" This makes up right for call. being an outsider for the third week in a row. So thank you. I think you made the right call because, like, DJ had put out the fake bounty hunter thing on Dylan pretty broadly. So if you jumped to Dylan, then Town would have come back yeah. to that at some point, and. It would not have yeah. ended well. <laughs> poor Madeline between the like and yeah, the DJ, minstrel days. Madeline Hunter with a thing I you don't know who they'll stuff. jump to. I'm sorry, I wanted to have a fun bounty hunter game. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, the bluffs of bounty hunter, puzzle master and farmer, by the way. I, 
I was questioning whether to put Puzzle Master in there because there was the Godfather as well, but I figured it's not guaranteed the demon speaks to the Godfather early. Yeah, I was, I was, debate, that I was debating which of the non outsiders in plays I'd bluff as between Puzzle Master and Sweetheart, and I figured Sweetheart would be less intensive. Yep. And yeah, so, as Navian said, exactly right. It was a you know, blue nist and Fangu, and then Godfather minus one, so that there wasn't five outsiders, which would have been insane. I didn't see the so, poison or um, world, though. I mean, because it was I poisoned no one of yous. But yeah, <laughs> the, uh... poisoned the mutant. You put yeah, um, oh yeah, mutant. Was, yeah, Stella broke madness day one, but they were poisoned by DJ the poisoner. So. Oh man. <laughs> Right, so, guys, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna head off, but it's 2 a.m. for me almost. Um, I, it was a pleasure. Can someone ping me the link to the stream? I would love to watch that back. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very good night, much. Aiden. Have a good night. Good night, good night Aiden. Aiden. Bye. And in, in fact, Aiden was poisoned for much of the rest of the game until the day that you um, you know, until you killed the poison and, and triggered me. me minstel. But yeah, like Aiden was was drunk, for, was poisoned for a good few days, <laughs> but you never killed a minion, so didn't do anything. Hey. So I want everyone to know that like first day, first whisper was with Bruce and we, we, we trust falled and hard claim to each other. And Bruce like came out almost immediately say, yeah, I'm the cannibal and it's a pretty boring role. And then I tried to like, you know, be like, oh, well, well, yeah, if you get executed right away or town doesn't execute, it's, you know, it's boring, but otherwise it could be pretty good. And then we proceeded to give Bruce probably the most boring cannibal game where somebody's <laughs> executed every day that we possibly could have given him and now I'm I sorry really Bruce. <laughs> it, it is what it is um also I was really hoping that at some point towards the last day when Ryback said that Bruce claimed washerwoman confirming Resnora I was hoping Resnora was gonna come out and say yeah we talked about it but then Resnora said completely silent on that <laughs> I said it in chat, and I told I did tell Ryback before that we had had that conversation. But yeah, it was we spent way too much time day one talking about how like Bruce is gonna claim Washerwoman, then saw me, and I was like, cool, what role? And then like we spent way too long trying to figure out what role, only to determine we're just not gonna say any role and hold on to it, and like circle back to it later if it became necessary. <laughs> it was mostly just to protect you, and then Navian just killed you immediately. <laughs> Yeah. So I I killed Resnora because she gave me empath with the zero when I knew that the other side of that was a bounty hunter claim or farmer, and I'm like, I want to kill both of these because if I can substantiate an empath zero, then that's great with the bounty hunter claim, and if it's farmer, then perfect. And then I go talk to Res, and she's like, I'm the mathematician with the zero, and I'm like, well, that's not what I was hoping. <laughs> Yeah, well, I realized what? after I talked to you that, that, like, I picked my bluffs for, like, you know, what would a demon maybe not really want to kill? Not thinking about, like, the fact there was a lichen on the script and the lichen absolutely would want to kill those. Good stuff. That was a good game. I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, that was uh, a really good game. Evil was playing on the back foot the second, uh, the, I... I had admitted to a player that the um, demon executed. I was hoping that they might have thought it wasn't Madeline because Madeline executed and killed them. Honestly, Mario, I thought that, like, I was talking to Resnor on, like, that second to last day, and I thought for sure that was just you being a goblin wanting to get nominated and executed. So, like, you did well. <laughs> yeah. I looked on, on night four chat Mario and I woke you up for the fourth night in a row and you were just like, really? Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Pound executed all three outsiders in the first three days. Well, one of them was a mutant blow up, but yeah, like three, three executions, three outsiders.